phantom braking in the Teslas. How bad is it? Should it prevent you from buying one? Let's get into it. So in my Tesla Model 3 three month review, I actually received a YouTube comment from a YouTube user named Harold Reese. We picked up our Model 3 long range all wheel drive on December 27th. So we are still learning about it. If we had known about phantom braking, we would have not bought this vehicle. When it happens, it scares the wits out of my wife. She will absolutely not use autopilot. I think that Tesla can minimize this problem by simply giving us an option to turn off assist and let us just have classic cruise control. So I wanted to make a video about phantom braking because there are so many people that are buying Teslas that are actually not aware of what it is. So in autopilot, when you're driving, you're actually using auto steer and tech, traffic aware cruise control. These two features together are autopilot. When you have this engaged, all of the car's cameras are activated. So Tesla uses something called Tesla Vision, and it uses cameras that are located all the way around the car to detect objects, obstacles, people, people on bicycles. It is amazing what these cameras can see. It can even see trash cans that I'm driving by on the road. Sometimes these cameras see things like road signs, debris in the road, and what can happen is the car can just slam on the brakes. And that is literally the term phantom braking. It's like a ghost hitting your brakes. It can be very jarring if you're not expecting it. Even for me, I'm like, whoa, sometimes when it happens, I'll be using autopilot while I'm on the city roads and I'm always attentive. I'm always paying attention, especially on city roads, because even though I have the full self-driving package on my car, it's not full self-driving. It should be called full assistive driving or something, not self-driving because it's not at all. There are plenty of instances where you have to actually take over and that's why it is crucial that you're paying attention. What I'm getting at is, is if I'm driving through an intersection, if a car is driving through that intersection or like making a left-hand turn, even though my car is pretty far away, it'll definitely slam on the brakes at times. You know, a couple of people have been in my car, friends of mine, family members, and everybody has a different reaction to it because if you're in a Tesla a lot, it's bound to happen to you. For some people, it's a deal breaker type of situation. Like they will not deal with that. They do not want that while they're driving. They don't care about all the technology. That alone is enough to say, no, I'm not buying the car. I definitely feel that more people need to be aware of this. And unfortunately, there's really no way to like experience it without test driving the car and having it happen to you or being in someone else's Tesla. For me personally, not a big deal. It doesn't happen very often. And when it does happen, it sucks. But because I'm always paying attention, I'm able to just press on the accelerator and the car accelerates immediately. When I say slam on the brakes, it doesn't come to a full stop but it slams on the brakes and you know how when you're going like 40 miles an hour and you slam on the brakes that is an uncomfortable scary feeling it's definitely something that you should be aware of before you decide to purchase this vehicle so i just wanted to make a video about it address harold's comment with this video um if you're watching this harold thank you for leaving the comment but thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed today's video definitely hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I create new videos. And also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it will help me rank higher in the algorithm. But until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.